Dylan currently sitting sixth in the nation coming into the weekend. He's there. All right, we are green flag racing. Top four go on to the big show. And boy, we've got some slicing and dicing here early in this one. Throw a blanket over the whole field. Who's going to lead lap number one? It'll go to Nick Shannon of the 7S. Jared Jackson working the top side. Tyler Jackson getting in the mix. Look at the 13 T. Dylan Richards out of nowhere. Ben Beecher getting to the outside guardrail. Chaos ensuing in three and four. Dylan Richards on the move. Start at eighth, up to third, looking for more. Nick Shannon, Tyler Jackson, Dylan Richards, Roy Armstrong up into the fourth and final transfer. Jared Jackson battling with Tim LaPointe. Those two cars outside looking in. Meanwhile, three wide for the lead up of four. You've got a good one up front. Tyler Jackson, your new leader. Tyler Jackson, Nick Shannon, Dylan Richards, Roy Armstrong. Get a little smoke out of the 98 machine, Ryan. Yeah, he is off the pace. Tough break, Jared Jackson with issues on the 98. He is still going, but not for sure if he'll be able to continue. Dylan Richards, your new leader. Boy, we have had a lot of heat races where the final two starters in the heat have come all the way through to win a heat or finish top two. And Dylan Richards and Roy Armstrong doing it again right now. Of course, Tyler Jackson still holding down that second spot. Richards, Jackson, Armstrong, Nick Shannon trying to hold on to that final transfer. Ben Beecher, who got into the outside guardrail early in this heat race, trying to come back and race himself into the A main. Does not want to go to a B feature later on tonight, and it looks like at least for the moment he won't. He moves up to the final transfer. Shannon back to fifth, then it's the sixth of Dan Markham battling with Tim LaPointe in the 18. Jared Jackson still out there in that 98 as we've got one to go. Caden Murray on the flag stand, letting them know. Dylan Richards working the high line, a one and two. Meanwhile, here comes Shannon, not letting Beecher run away in that final transfer just yet. Roy Armstrong catching Tyler Jackson as well in the battle for second, but off of four, your heat race winner, Dylan Richards. Tyler Jackson, Roy Armstrong, who's it gonna be? It's Nick Shannon, the final transfer, steals it in the final turn. But picking up the heat race win, the 24R, give it up for Dylan Richards. And row number four, the 41 of Adam Wasserman on his outside. James, you're gonna have to help me with this one more time, the two of Ian Rochuski. That's Rocheski, Dan. Rocheski. <laughs> For now. Lap number one goes to the 66 of Kyle Gannon. Kenny Roberts in third, Mike Hansen. Had a very, very fast car last week. We'll call it trouble in the A feature. Didn't work out for him. Running third right now in heat race number two of your Valentino's hobby stocks. Adam Wasserman in that fourth and final transfer spot. Top four single file battle for fifth. Little contact between Joe Copeland and Kyle Castile. A little bit of a whoop developing in turn one. Oh, oh, oh wow. Almost contact between our race leader the 66 of Kyle Gannon and the 69 of Kenny Roberts. Roberts now with a good move on the low side at the line. Roberts fire nose. Three laps left to go. Kenny Roberts, Kyle Gannon, Mike Hansen, Adam Wasserman. 
I'd love to tell you lap times, but scoring and timing's not working. Mike Hansen looking to the inside of Kyle Gannon. A lap and a half to go down the back stretch. Kenny Roberts, Kyle Gannon, Mike Hansen, Adam Wasserman. Joe Copeland has battled back. Final time down the back stretch and into turn three. Battle for second is on out of turn four. Kenny Roberts gets the win. Mike Hansen brings it in home in second. Then it's Kyle Gannon. And your fourth and final transfer spot, the 41, the Waterman, Adam Wasserman. Row two, the 39, Chris Dostransky, the 92 of Don Hall Jr. Row three, the three, uh, Neil Pellin, the 26, L, Brent Lemke. And the four, two, fourth row inside the 2C, as David Carter. Dirty dog, David Carter. A little bit of rubbing for your top two going into one. Oh, good start there for Nick Jetson. Going to drive the early lead. Here comes the 92 of Don Hall Jr. to the outside. We'll go two by two by two from second on back. I hear you there. Oh, look out, Chris Stransky. Contact Bruce Carter and Lipke getting together. Keep in mind, one of those cars in that three-car battle not making the A feature, at least for the moment. Meanwhile, your race for the lead. Don Hall Jr. finding something up high in three and four. Trying to run down Nick Jensen. Brent Lemke to third. David Carter in that fourth and final transfer. Kirsten Bruce, Neil Pella. Pella now looks to the inside of Bruce. Kirsten Stransky rounding out your order. Here comes Hall Jr. on the top side of three and four. The slight job will work at the 92 is your new leader. Jensen scrubbed off a little bit of speed off of four. That lets Lemke and Carter reel him in. Here comes the dirty dog to the inside. David Carter picking up that third spot as a little bit of assurance here. And now looking for second. And he's got it. Four to go this time by for the 92. Don Hall Jr. working the high line beautifully off of two. David Carter, the 2C, started Lonesome Charlie in the rear of this one, and he is up to second. Meanwhile, Brent Lemke looking to the inside of Nick Jensen. Keep in mind, those two cars in the show, but you do not want to do something to question that as Jensen jumps up the cushion. Here comes Neil Pella. The three and catching that 22J. Meanwhile, your race for the lead with two to go. David Carter, your new leader from worst to first in another heat race here tonight. Hall Jr. back to second. Lemke third, the battle for the final transfer. Pella looking to the inside of Jetson. We're going to have a white flag this time by Hall Jr. back to the inside of your leader. Neil Pella up to fourth. Jensen outside looking in. Bruce and Stransky rounding out your order. Down the back stretch and a three and four, one final time. And how about it, race fans? The two C from the rear to the front. David Carter, your winner. Don Hall Jr., Brent Lemke, and Neil Pella making their way into the show. Jensen, Bruce, and Stransky going to the B. Uh, root beer float in a glass or a shot glass. I'm not picky. Inside row number one, the 92K, Kasha Hall, to her outside the 53T, Trenton Dowdy. Row number two, the 7T, Tanner Dowdy. On his outside, this is too many Dowdies in one race. The 7T of Troy Dowdy. Row number three, the 66 of Jeff Watts, and the 10 of Brad Schreiner, Ryan Gillen. It's gonna start tailing Charlie. Actually, the 92K, Kasha Hall, drops to the rear. Tanner Dowdy, Jeff Watts, Ryan Gillen. Oh boy, 
happening? Was that contact? I couldn't tell. I literally couldn't tell. I'm not saying anything. Please don't yell at me on Facebook later this week. Jeff Watts, Ryan Killen, Tanner Dowdy. Oh, great. After this? Good. They won't yell at me then. Well, <laughs> battle for the race lead. Ryan Gillen picked up the feature win a few weeks back. He's got the race lead down the back stretch. Jeff Watson second. Spinner around, turn two. We stay green. I believe that was Trenton Dowdy going around. Three laps left to go. Ryan Gillen, Jeff Watts, Tanner Dowdy. Then Troy Dowdy. And then Brad Schreiner. Top four only. It's going to be Gillen, Watts, Dowdy, and Schreiner at the line. Two laps left to go. Brad Schreiner now looking to the inside of Tanner Dowdy. White flag is out. Final time for the 46 of Ryan Gillen, the 66 of Jeff Watts, the 10 of Brad Schreiner, and the 70 of Tanner Dowdy. Troy Darty, Dowdy, first car outside looking in. Well, we've done it again from worst to first. Ryan Gillen gets the win. Jeff Watts in second, Brad Schreiner in third. And Tanner Dowdy, your fourth and final transfer. Troy Dowdy, gonna have to come out of the beam. I'll take a little Kona ice for now. That's yeah. okay. So here we go again, full restart. Green flag is out. Three wide, now two wide, two deep. Once again, top four moving on. Clayton Peters, Ben Beecher. Dowdy gets a little high on the exit of turn four. That opens the door for the 22. Nick Jensen takes over the third spot out of turn two. Clayton Peters, Ben Beecher, Nick Jensen. Oh, we got a car going around. Exit of turn two, just saw him spinning down the back stretch. It's the 81 of Joe Copeland Jr. He's off the racing surface, we stay green. And we'll see if he rejoins. I don't think he's going to though. Might have a flat tire. No, never mind. Oh, we got two more cars getting together. Chris Stransky and the two. Heavy damage on the two. He's not going to be able to rejoin. Six laps left to go for Peters, Beecher, Jensen. And Dowdy. Remember, only the top four are moving on. That is going to be Peters, Boucher, excuse me, Beecher. Oh, we had another car going around on the front stretch. Gets it refired and goes. That's Kyle Castile. He's slow in front of our leaders, but he stays off the groove. Clayton Peters, your race leader. Kyle Castile, lap traffic. 
Van Beecher is second. Nick Jensen is third. And Troy Doughty, your final transfer right now, but the 18 of Tim LaPointe is trying to reel him in. Two laps left to go. I think there's gonna be some hurt feelings after this race. White flag is out, final time for the 11 of Clayton Peters who's led every lap. Ben Beecher in second. Nick Jensen in third. And your fourth and final transfer right now again is the 17T of Troy Doughty, but Tim LaPointe's making a move on the outside. Can he get the momentum run out of turn number four? Here he comes, cuts down, no, not able to get there. Checkered flag waves for the 11 of Clayton Peters, the B4 of Ben Beecher, the 22J and Nick Jensen in your fourth and final chance for the 17 of Troy Doughty. What, what did I miss? A lot of spinning. Race fans, we want to wish a happy seventh wedding anniversary for Jason and Shelly Laginza. Happy anniversary. And thanks for choosing Eagle Raceway as your Memorial Day weekend destination. Race officials on the radio reminding drivers if you get into somebody, give them a chance to get straightened up. I think they're getting a little tired of some of the rubbing and racing going on tonight. Here we go, Kyle Gannon's gonna take the gambler into turn number one. Out of turn number two, Kyle Gannon's got the lead. Don Hall Jr. looking to the outside of Kenny Roberts. Out of turn four, Gannon's got the lead. It's too wide for the second spot. Jeff Watts, Mike Hansen, and Roy Armstrong. Roberts, oh, big run down the back stretch for Don Hall Jr. The 92, a little slip of the 66. Don Hall Jr. is gonna lead in a lap. Don Hall Jr., your new leader. Kyle Gannon sitting at second. Here comes Roy Armstrong, the veteran of the six R to the inside of Kenny Roberts. Now looking for second to the inside of Kyle Gannon. Three wide, back there for fourth on back. Don Hall Jr., Roy Armstrong, Kyle Gannon. I think Kenny Roberts came across the line in fourth, but Mike Hansen's looking underneath. That's a battle for the fourth spot. How about it? Three wide again. Tyler Jackson, Jeff Watson, Brent Lemke going at it there. Throw a blanket of about 10 cars right there, Dan. What a show there from third on back. Well, don't throw a blanket because then I can't see this great racing action. Roy Armstrong starting to reel in Don Hall. Track starting to develop a little bit of character through turns three and four. Dylan Richards making his way up through the field. Richards, last week's feature winner. Big run out of turn two for the 13, for the 13 T. He gives a shot to the 94 of Mike Hansen. And now a race for the lead. Here comes Roy Armstrong to the outside. Ripping the lid through one and two, and you've got a new leader, and he is gone. What a run for Armstrong. Roy Armstrong has been frustrated the last year and a half with the bad luck and the near wins. He's got 11 laps to seal the deal, but here comes Dylan Richards. Richards now looking underneath Jackson. He's got the spot down the back stretch. Richards will set up turn three to work to the outside of Hanson. Dylan Richards has won three of the first four features here at Eagle Raceway this season. Your current points leader, and he is on the move. He'll get around Hanson. Now looks to run down the 92 of Hall. Three wide, two wide back in the field. Great racing action. Nine laps left to go for Roy Armstrong at the line, I believe it was Don Hall gets the credit for the second spot. But Richards hard into turn one, slides up the track. Richards has got the spot down the back stretch. Roy Armstrong is checking out for the rest of the field. Dylan Richards in second, still has some time to try and run him down. Don Hall Jr. back in third. Tyler Jackson, Michael Hansen running out your top five going into one. 
all the while. Roy Armstrong, half a straightaways advantage. The Wiley Coyote leading at Eagle Raceway, this time by. Richards was a tick quicker. No, excuse me, he was just a, a tick slower. Seven to go, now coming to six and a half laps to go for Roy Armstrong. Good battle shaping up for third. Tyler Jackson running around the high line will get around that 92 of Don Hall Jr. Michael Hansen still sitting back in that fifth spot. The 10 of Brad Schreiner now in the sixth. As we got one car going to the infield, that's Nick Shannon. Last time by, Dylan Richards was a tenth faster. This time he's half a tenth faster. He's reeling in Roy Armstrong, but it's not gonna be enough. You better find something in that 24R. Brad Schreiner now looking to the inside of Mike Hansen. We're gonna have three cars battling back there for that fourth, fifth, and sixth spot. Schreiner to the inside of Hansen, right behind Hall Jr. going into one. Roy Armstrong, little slip on the exit of turn two. Car pulls to the infield, that's the 17. Dowdy pulls to the infield, his night is done. Three laps left to go. Three tenths faster this time for Dylan Richards. Yeah, he is really starting to reel him in, but does he have enough time? I think oh. he does, as we got Sparks coming out of your leader there for a moment. I think he scraped the, out, the backstretch wall. Richards gets too high. That's it. I think Roy Armstrong just sealed the deal. Tough break. Oh, flat tire for your points leader. Right rear flat tire for Dylan Richards. White flag will wave. Eagle Raceway, the Wiley Coyote has one lap left to go. Can Roy Armstrong get another win in his career? Down the back stretch, into turn three, smooth as silk, out of turn four, Roy Armstrong will wind up in Demon Decals, victory lane. Tyler Jackson second, Brad Schreiner third, Mike Hanson, Don Hall Jr., your top five.